Hello everyone, today I'm bringing you a hair bow tutorial and we're going to be making some cute little pom-pom piggies. These are really cute warning pairs with little bows on. I got these fluffy pom-poms from AliExpress. I will link them in the description below. I just got two colours to begin with. I got this lovely sort of um, minky beige colour. You get one, two, three, four, five, you get six in a packet. And they weren't very expensive at all. I can't remember off the top of my head, but they were quite cheap. Like I said, they'll be linked in the description below. And I also got this lovely grey colour. I just went for these sort of neutral colours because these seem to be the in thing at the moment. There's so many baby clothes and toddler clothes in these sort of neutral colours. So these are what I went for. So I've picked two of the pom-poms out. I'm going to set these ones aside. And these pom-poms have got a loop on them. So if you look just here, they've got like this little elasticated loop and you could use this to put onto a key ring, on for a bag or anything like that. But we're going to use this on our hair clip today. So I'll show you that when we get to it. So I'll just set those aside. The template I'm going to be using, this is a three inch bow. So the tails are three inch wide. And this is the Odyssey hair bow template from Bow Templates UK. Again, I will link these in the description below. And I've chosen these two fabrics because I thought they went really well with this sort of minky nude colour. So I've got this patent leatherette and this lovely sort of peachy, it's like a peachy nude and it's got all different colours in it as well, but that went really well together, I thought. Um, these I both got from AliExpress. So I'll link these in the description below also. You will also need a hair clip of your choice. You can stick these on elastics, but I'm doing these piggies on hair clips. And these are the ones that I like to use. These are 45 millimeter double prong clips. I've got my pen to draw around my templates and I've got a hot glue gun ready. So starting with our patent leather, I'm going to draw on the underside around my template. So this template comes with tails, these tall loops, some wider but narrow loops, and then an even smaller loop. We're going to be using these three, but I'm not going to bother with the tail today because I think a smaller bow on the pom-poms look better. So I'm going to pop them back in there. And you've also got the centre strip template in there as well, but I don't bother using that. I'm just going to cut a strip by eye. So on the patent leatherette, I want this to be the taller bottom loops and also the smaller top loops. I'm going to remove this one and I'm going to draw around, I'll just flip this upside down because I've already used the fabric up here. And I'm going to draw around these two templates. I'm just checking my fabric because I've got some pen marks on this. So I'm going to have to go for this area here. And then taking my glitter fabric and those wider tails, I'm going to draw around the back onto this one. And now I'm going to cut these out. And when I cut these out, because I don't use any fancy pens like the disappearing ink pens, I just simply cut inside the pen line, which is easy to do. So just very carefully, just cutting around just inside the pen line. So as you can see, I've got no pen mark on my loop because I've cut it off on the fabric there. So I'm going to continue now cutting all of these out and then I'll come back. So I've got all of my pieces cut out now. I've also cut out a one centimetre wide ribbon to 11 centimetres and this is to wrap my hair clip. So I've done it in the same colour as my bow and also to complement the pom-pom. And I've also cut a strip from the glitter this is around four and a half centimetres in length and this is to wrap the centre of the bow. So what we're going to do now is assemble our bow. Now this Odyssey hair bow template, this can be made in two different ways. You can actually layer these two up and then make the bow like that. But I'm going to do them separately because I do like the look of them separate and layered up. So taking the wider loops first, I'm going to pop some glue 
on the tab ends and bring those into the centre. I like to leave around a millimetre overlap from the front side so that when you flip it over to the front you can't see any of the back of the bow. And I like these loops because they're nice and tall and they go really well with the pom-pom piggies. So taking our longer glitter loops now, we're going to do the same, pop some glue on the tab ends, bring those tab ends into the centre, again leaving around a millimetre or two overlap from the front side. And then we're going to layer these on the top of these tall loops. Now these are obviously wider loops than these, but it all adds to the look of the bow. So making sure they're lined up. I just love the look of this, how these come out wider and you can see this piece peeking out from the underside. It is a really lovely bow shape. They do this in a larger one as well. This is obviously the three inch template. You can also get a I think as a four inch template, which I have got as well. And because you can make it up in the different ways, you've got lots of options with that. So we're doing the same with these smaller loops now. We're bringing the two sides in to meet in the middle with that two millimeter overlap from the front side. And we're going to layer this on the top as our final layer. Just going to face it towards me so I can just check. And then normally we would add a clip and then wrap our center, but obviously we're not adding a clip onto this bow, we're just adding this to the pom pom first. So I'm going to wrap the center now. So I'm going to pop some glue on one end, start on the underside. Wrap it round the middle of the bow and then finish gluing it on the underside. So that is the bow part now complete. As you can see, that is a gorgeous shape. I do love that one. And then this ribbon, I've already heat sealed the ends. Like I said, it's one centimetre wide by 11 centimetres in length. And this wraps a 45 millimetre hair clip perfectly. You want to try and match your ribbon to your pom-pom as much as you can. Just need another glue stick in my glue gun. And then what I like to do is use this elastic loop on this pom-pom and thread my clip into it. So I like to thread that on there like that, but I also like to hot glue it as well. So I'm going to do this side first, not the total end of the clip, just this part here. So leave this piece free so you can still open your clip. So a bit of glue there, push it down into the pom-pom, then flip it round. And then some glue on that end, pushing it into the pom-pom. And obviously we're doing piggies, so we're doing two of these. I have already prepared one, which I haven't shown you yet. So when it comes to this stage, you want one of the clips to be facing toward the left and one of the pom-poms to have the clip on facing toward the right. So with this one, this clip is facing toward the left so this will be the piggy that will go on the 
right hand side of the hair as you clip them in. So this one, we're going to have it facing toward the right. So they go in the hair that way. So with that in mind, we're going to stick our bow on this side. So I like to just flatten out the fur, making sure my clip is at the bottom here. Obviously I've covered it with the fur, but my clip is flat to the bottom here. So my bow is going to stick on this surface. So taking my bow, I'm going to place the glue across the back and also at the top of the bow loops. And I'm going to really smush this in to my pom-pom. So the clip is at the bottom, facing the correct way, making sure it's central to the clip. And I'm going to really smush that into the pom-pom. Smush, is that even a word? It is now. As you can see, the bottom of the clip is there, sort of in line with the bow. So when you pop it on the baby or toddler's head, they will stand up like that. So the bows will be facing towards the front. These are just so cute. I wish I had a model to show you them on, but unfortunately I don't. But yeah, these will look so gorgeous on a baby. And also you can use these if you are putting these on a baby, obviously some babies don't have a lot of hair, you can pop these on the interchangeable headbands. I've done a tutorial on the interchangeable headbands. I'll pop a link in the corner here now. And you can do the two loops on there. So when these go on a baby, you can pop these onto a headband rather than into their hair. If they haven't got any hair, obviously you won't be able to do that. So yeah, you can pop these on babies and toddlers and like I said, they are so cute. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you did, please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you press the bell button, that will turn on notifications. Thank you for watching everyone. Bye.